Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I just kind of wanted to go over um, a couple of the reasons that I actually like the, the Chinese ATVs. I know a lot of people will, will bash them. Uh, some people love them, but uh, I'm just gonna give you my reasons on why I really like them. So um, this one's of course not a Chinese one. This is uh, a Honda TRX125. Um, but that also helps explain why I really like the Chinese one. So this is a 125, this is a 125, and this is just a frame. So I have two frames right now, and uh, I'm planning on building them, probably putting Predator motors on them and torque converters the whole nine. But basically, why I really like these Chinese ones is you can pick them up dirt cheap, right? So this little one right here, um, it's got a different seat, a different body on it now. But I picked it up for 70 bucks, not running. They didn't know what was wrong with it. I got it home and within five minutes had it running. It's got about 30 to 40 hours of time on it now between my daughters. And one of the things I like about them, like I said, is because they're cheap. And not only are they cheap to buy, like if you buy them used, you buy them new, you'll probably pay $1,000 for one of these, which I think is, is overpriced. So in my opinion, go on Marketplace, go on Craigslist, find one used and buy it for a hundred bucks, 200 bucks at the most. If it runs, pay 300, but uh, don't pay a thousand, 1500 bucks for these. Um, yeah, like second reason I really like these is to diagnose them. It's really, really simple. So, I mean, everything is easy, easy to get to. So carburetors, they're not even worth rebuilding. I mean, they're 12 bucks, so you just buy a new one. Uh, ignition coil, I mean, 10 bucks with a spark plug. Uh, and then certain things like CDIs, CDIs, 12 bucks. So you can replace all your ignition stuff pretty much and your carburetor for less than $40. So to me, it's a great deal. And the kids are gonna ride them hard. The kids are gonna beat them up. Um, if you have bigger kids or, or you're an adult trying to ride one, I mean, the bigger version will hold, but you're going to have issues. You're going to have, you're going to have chain issues where either, you know, the bolts loosen up or the, you know, the nuts come back or you have to reinforce the frame a little bit, depending on how big you are. Um, so yeah, uh, that's two reasons why. The third reason I really want to say is the aftermarket and, and the parts availability. You can get parts anywhere for these things. Amazon, eBay, you can get them shipped two days, three days to your house. And like I said, they're cheap. So anything that goes wrong with these things, you can you can replace them cheap. You know, and if you blow the motor, you could go the route of buying another little Chinese 125, and then it's gonna be 300 bucks. Or you can swap it to a Predator motor, which is what we're doing here. You see there's a mount right there. The Predator motor is 130 bucks. So 130 bucks plus a torque converter, that's 120. And then you throw a sprocket and a chain on it and you're good. So um, it's really simple to do. Um, another reason is you can eliminate a lot of the wiring. So these have a lot of safety features built in them. Um, like this one used to have a little thing on here. You'll see there's empty plugs back there because it used to have little safety things where if like your kid fell off the ATV, it would die. And all these little cheap parts, they end up failing over time. So it's easier to just go ahead and delete those items. You know, keep the kill switch on, on the handlebar because that's a safety feature. Like if your kids get scared somewhere, they can always hit it real fast. Um, but like a lot of the other crap, the lights and all the other stuff, you can delete it all out and basically make a real simplified wiring harness. So now when you're comparing the performance of like a 125 Chinese one to a 125 Honda, there's no comparison. The Honda has more power. The Honda is just all around better. But if you have issues with the Honda, like this is a late 80s model TRX, finding parts are hard. You can't just go on eBay or Amazon and buy all the parts that, you know, they say will work with it because they don't, they're different. Um, different setup CDI. You see the CDI hanging down there. Um, and, and just a lot of parts they sell don't work. You'll have to go and either buy them used because Honda doesn't support everything. All they support is pretty much nuts and bolts for this thing. 
or you'll have to go to like a performance shop that remanufactures some of the parts. So that's a downside to me because like this one has spark issues and I couldn't get it running as quick because I'm over here trying to source parts and I'm trying to find people that can redo the CDI or, you know, stuff like that. And then the wiring, I can't just buy another new wiring harness. Like these, I can jump on Amazon and I can buy a wiring harness for $30, complete wiring harness for this ATV. So yeah, those are just a couple of the reasons why I feel like I really like them. Like I said, I feel like they're, they're great for the money if you can buy them cheap enough. Um, they take a lot of abuse. Um, this one was stored outside for years and then we got it back around and put a new skin on it. And you can see it's been mud and everything. It's been ripping through trails. So like I said, if you're, if you're in the market for ATV, but you're not, you're not necessarily using it to work on your, your farm or, or tow a little trailer around or anything like that, then these are perfect to pick up if you're just looking for ATVs to have fun on, uh, let the kids ride. And like I said, you can find them dirt cheap online. You just have to find the right one. 95% of the time when someone posts one up and they're like, hey, it doesn't start. That means they just walked out, they tried to flip the switch and they tried to start it and nothing happened. So their battery's dead, most likely the carburetor's gone, you know, something little like that because people, you gotta have basic knowledge of how to work on things to own these because you will have to work on them. But like I said, when you find them online, 95% of the time, the problem is something that is easily fixed. And like I said, that, that, that parent that lives somewhere bought it for their kid. A year later, they come out, they try to start it, nothing happens. They charge the battery, try to start it, nothing happens. It just cranks. So, and then, you know, you could pick it up, you throw your $12 carburetor on it, you know, you check for spark. 95% of the time, this thing's gonna start up. So, these things are gonna run. You're gonna drain the old gas out. You're gonna put a new battery, new carb. You're you're less than 50 bucks in parts, and you're gonna be riding around. So yeah, like I said, this video was just talking about why I really like the Chinese ATVs. Why I feel like they're a good value. Um, if you have one, and you know you have a lot of good luck with it, uh, drop a comment and let me know. Uh, or if there's any reason why you don't like them, you know, drop it below.